So a lot of Katarina players, I feel like they focus way too much on the build, how to 1v9, how to win every matchup, when it's way more simple than that. You just need to farm well, don't die, and do your job, and you will climb. Now this post is basically all of that delusion in one post. I'm not going to read this whole post. Now all you need to read to know this guy is delusional is that low level players are just better than they used to be. Frankly, I can't see the skill difference between the low level brackets, bronze to plat. They will understand fundamentals perfectly and will not be beaten by simply not making mistakes yourself. I'm here to tell you, yes, they will be beaten if you don't make your mistakes yourself. If you farm well, you don't die, you minimize mistakes, and you just do your job, you will climb way quicker than by doing and focusing on a bunch of other random BS. Build macro and other esoteric concepts aren't important until diamond. And I agree with that. I agree with Coach Curtis. And he made a video talking about this post as well. Then he went over a game of Annie playing very simple League of Legends. It proved very effective. We're basically going to do that, but with Katarina. Katarina is a different champ than Annie. On Katarina, you want to be at every fight. You want to take these dragon fights. You want to skirmish. You want to like team fight and reset. Surely she's different than Annie. You can't just sit mid farm and team fight well, right? Well, you can, and you probably should. That's what we're going to be reviewing today. I got an account up to gold promos, and we're just going to go through those gold promos, and we're going to see what it's like. We're against Cassio and a lot of squishies on their team. So we just go a standard electrocute page. Our build is going to be super simple. We're just going to go Nasher into Rocket Belt. So we start the lane. What do we do? Um, we're not really doing anything. We're going to wait for these minions to die and we're going to press Q. Nice. Three farm. Oh, these minions are going to get low. Let's press Q on them. Whoa. <laughs> Cassio is pushing the wave in pretty quick. So we're just going to wait for the wave to come into us. Get a little bit more farm. I'm trying to play super simple. So I'm not really clicking too much. Wave is almost in. Looks like Hecram is going all the way around. But he's here now. Now we can go in. And look at this Q. I didn't mean to do that. That was way too mechanically intensive. So... That was the best thing you'll see in all these games. So we recall Cassio spending all our mana trying to zone us. We're just waiting for the wave to come in. Pick up the farm under tower. Do our best not to get chunked too much. We're both level 6. Cassio is pushing. Really good trade from the Cassio. It's fine. We're just going to recall. Come back. We want to be high health and we want to be available. And we want good farm. Cassio. She's kind of low mana. And we just recalled, so we have an item advantage. So now would be a good time to trade. Try to chunk her out. Maybe go for a kill. Now, I could flash here, and I very easily could get this kill. But we're not going to use our flash aggressively. We're just going to chill. Let them die themselves if they want to. And we're just going to farm our best. Play super simple. Cassio TP is back. I kind of look top, but I don't really want to roam in this. I just want to sit mid, farm my best, and just do my job later on. So Cassia pushes in a little bit. We go for a quick trade with the R. Because she R's here. And Katarina R is a pretty low cooldown. So when our R is back up, we can very easily just go for a fight. We don't really need to roam. I don't really want to roam. I just want to sit here, farm well, and wait for her to die. I think she, so she Q's there. I believe she didn't have her R up. Now even that's kind of advanced. Riven comes, I flash defensively. I thought she was going to flash there. I probably didn't need to flash, but it's fine. We recall. Look at this. Nice. QE. <laughs> and that dive was kind of advanced, you know, I dropped my W. Then got the reset and jumped out to the W, but the next games after this will be much more simple. Even trying to play simple, can't help myself sometimes, but definitely the next few games are way more simple. I'm trying to dumb it down. We're just sitting here, farm, pretty 
decent CS, I guess. Kind of hard to farm well against Cassio. And when we're <laughs> and farm well when we're just missing uncontested CS. Our jungler and our Namri here, so I figure any cat would walk over here. Cassio just pushing again. So just gonna let him shove. I'm gonna pick up the farm. Ekram goes in. Hmm. Doesn't look too hot. Which is farm. I really is getting a lot of stuff top. Hikram popping off. Cassio got a pretty good ult. I just pressed R. I pressed E. I queued. <laughs> Literally, look at that. Wow, look at these crazy mechanics. I pressed R. I pressed E. And I pressed Q. <laughs> they come. So, I jump out. Not using my flash aggressively. Push the wave. At Cassio's top, so we'll go over there. Nope, we won't go over there. We're just sitting mid. Aram mid. We see a fight down here. Fuck our head. Ah, eh, doesn't look too hot. I'll just sit here. Hmm. Now, as I'm clearing this, I realize I'm not sure what the low either player would do. So I just hit the tower. But as I was hitting it, I thought to myself, "There's no way like every every Katarina runs down bot here, right?" So I ran down bot. We finally get there, but I could flash and try to do something, but we're not going to use our flash aggressively. We want them to just walk in and kill themselves. <laughs> we're looking for the free kills. So we're all chilling down here. I'm waiting for some free kills. I start my recall. Any free kills? I walk up. I don't want to start the dive myself. That's way too complicated. Okay, shampooed to last hit. And <laughs> we're out of here. Free kill. I'm A ramming mid with the Draven. No side laning required. We're low elo, so we just A ram mid. They contest. Cassio W making it really hard for me to jump in. But look how strong I am here. <laughs> Killed two people, did a lot of damage. And let's break down the combo I did. I pressed Q. I pressed E. W R. And then I didn't move. I didn't use any of the resets. I'm just very strong. Just doing my job. I'm trying to play as simple as I can. I'm not even using Rocket Belt. So everyone's in our top jungle. Aurelia is bot. So this is probably a bad fight. I get picked off. Mm, that's fine. That's whatever. Now that death was really bad. Did I? Eh, not that big of a shutdown, but still. Still a shutdown. We Aaron mid some more. They pick themselves off almost. Varys almost dies. Aurelia's bot. We Aram mid. Shackle decides he wants to die. Lulu decides she wants to die. And we're just sitting here getting free kills. We're just Aramming with our jungle and our Draven. <laughs> free recall. Everyone's over here, so I'm with the team. What do I do in this fight? Riven the free kill. I queued. I eed. WR. Literally the same combo as last one. QEWR. Very simple. I don't even move after IR. QE. Dang. Oh well. We're still very strong. And we're making it a lot easier for our team to win. You don't have to win every game. I almost got picked off there. So that was a mistake. Our Hecarim dies. Aurelia dies. And this fight's done. Everyone's at drag. I'm just waiting for free kills. I'm not going to flash aggressively. Waiting for free kills. Messed up that fight. I didn't turn around when Cassio ulted. 
well so normally you would just turn around then you are but i didn't do that we get almost wiped there it's fine i'm a ramming with the draven because it's low we low and we just a ram <laughs> and shackle picks me off it does so much damage actually and we lose but i mean it's fine to lose we did barely anything this game and we're 10 and 5 and we made it a lot easier for our team to win but we didn't win still it's a game i would be happy with if i was silver one we go into the next game we're mid it is vex mid it's a conqueror they have irelia and echo all right we look at their team they have a lot of like assassins a lot of mages so i kind of want to be a little bit tankier echo conditioning overgrowth normally i'd go conk dom as like the basic page but this page is actually being taken more at the moment i want to take the most cookie cutter page i can this game we're against a gold two vex we just start still refillable again our team's invading so we invade with them i could flash here but not going to use my flash aggressively i lose some xp here from shivana taking my xp but it's fine it's going to chill we're going to try our best to farm and we're gonna recall when we need to. She misses her E. And then she walks over the dagger. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do my best farm. Terrible trade. So now we just wanna do our best to farm and we're gonna look for a recall soon. Uh we just give those up. Normally I would W then E. Maybe try to cheese it, but gonna let it come in play super simple all right canes here because when we let the opponent shove we can get a ganks pretty easily and i use my flash aggressively here and i just die for it and i just thought it was so funny when i was playing this how i'm trying to not use my flash aggressively and then i do one time just out of pure reaction not much time to think here right so I try to flash out of it and I just barely get hit by it. But I mean, that goes against what I was trying to do. I don't want to use my flash aggressively. But I did and it died. So now we have no flash. Wow. So we're just chilling mid. Doing our best to farm. Take a terrible trade here. But I'm just trying to shove the wave in and recall. I didn't dodge her R and I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. That's fine, dude. We go back, we just farm the wave. Farm, farm, farm. People dying, bot lane. Stay to six, that's fine. Let's just farm. Level, we were level six to her, eight. Another bad trade, but I'm just trying my best to farm. We're not gonna roam purposely. We're just sitting in lane, trying to farm. Vex recalls, so I just shove the wave and then I recall myself. We go back. Vex shoves the wave and then she starts moving bot. What are we going to do? We're going to farm. <laughs> we're going to farm and we're going to not roam. Super simple. She uses her W there. So I just jump on her. Right? Why wouldn't I? We're O2, but she just used her fear and her defensive skill. And she's standing on a dagger. So she's left herself super open. Now we jump on the dagger. And is that a free kill or what? Vex just auto shoving the wave, giving us free farm. Thank you, Vex. Let the wave come in. We just pick up the farm. Looks like Kane's fighting here. So we walk over. Everyone's here. So we're definitely going to commit to it. Not going to use my flash aggressively. I think this guy's just dead. Not going to use my flash aggressively. He's going to wait for him to kill himself. We got that kill. He just needed to run away and I would not have caught him. Vex seems to still be walking down there. We're just going to shove this wave and recall probably. Come back. 
we shove the wave. We get our Nasher. We recall again. Nope, we stay for one more wave. Then we recall. Now we have our Nasher, we got our Sorks, and we're pretty strong now. Even though we started the game 0-2, we didn't roam. We're 0-2 now. Now this is something you can do against Vex. If you just set out a vision, maybe she uses her fear. And I probably shouldn't be doing this because this is just matchup specific. And I get a okay trade. But I shouldn't be doing that. That is matchup specific knowledge. I'm just waiting for her to use her fear. And if she ever does, we'll go in on her. Otherwise, we just wait for the wave to come in and we just keep farming up. Javon is here. Vex actually used her fear right here. Bam. Vex, no fear. I don't think we kill her. Kane's here. I'm not going to use my flash aggressively. Nice. We reset. She comes back. She uses her fear. And then she walks over the dagger. Yeah. She uses everything. And we literally just kill her. <laughs> it's super simple. We just jumped on the dagger. We press WR and then we press Q. <laughs> And we shove this next wave and we reset. We come back. Our Shivana's over here. So, since their team's over here, we'll go. We're not going to roam by ourselves, but... Shivana's here, so... And I think she was peeking me assistance. Maybe not. But, I'm not going to die of that. Not going to use my flash aggressively. I'm seeing if Echo wants to give me a free kill, but doesn't seem like it. I'm going to shove this wave and probably going to recall. Free kill. I'm not going to flash. Reset. Everyone's a dragon. They get the dragon. And then they run mid. Not going to use flash aggressively. We're just waiting for the free kill. Press Q, R, Q. Ah, <laughs> uh, Shivana just kills him by herself. Where is this Echo coming from? Where did this guy come from? He came in from the bot side. And he's just like, hey, I want to die. So we're like, okay. Or not. That's the way he actually manages to die there. Wow. <laughs> Up we go back mid. We farm mid. We're Aram with another Draven. Oh, looks like I'm actually picking up the side wave. I wanted to see what it would feel like to side lane here. But I know in these low ranks, everyone just Arams mid and you want to be at the fight. So, and a fight does happen. Our ball lane both die. So we go back mid and the fight's still happening. We press Q, E, <laughs> Q, E. Wow, double kill. Insane combos. Reset, go back mid. And there's... I guess we are really strong, but this feels too aggressive. But that, this doesn't follow like our rule where we just, we're waiting for kills. Like this was pretty aggressive. We're jumping past the Heimerdinger and then we die for it. We give up a shutdown. Yep. 1k shutdown. And then we're not here for this dragon fight, but we're on our way. Don't use flash aggressively. We're going to wait for a free kill. Kiwi, Kiwi. <laughs> We're not going to use flash aggressively. We'll see if she wants to die. Uh, 
Um, turns out she doesn't want to die at the moment. So, we walk away. Pick up some farm. We're ARAM mid. Everyone's top side, so I go top side with my team. Echo is doing some weird stuff over there. I get stunned. That was a, that was a pretty good kill, I think. I just walked over it. I thought he'd die. I die. It's fine. It's whatever. They're fighting at the Baron. Running over there. We just E W R. Ah, dang, we're dead. Oh well. Kane picks up the kills. Dre even popping off. We're air ramming mid with our team. Everyone goes to dragon. Echo's fighting us. I clicked the map on accident. <laughs> I die. Holy, that was so terrible. How bad was that? Like, I know I'm trying to play simple, but that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, we're all air ramming mid. Now, 30 plus minutes. The game. Low Elo is basically a quick flip <laughs> at this point. You go mid and you, we hope our team wins. But if the best he can do by this point is be strong, you have good farm, you picked up free kills, you will be impactful in these fights. But it looks like our team is kind of just dying. But we're strong if they die, if they int, we're going to be there. To clean it up. And dang, the deck goes pretty strong. Blue the tower. And the Straven pops off. Look at that R. Hilarious. Dragon is spawning. We're at Dragon. I'm just waiting for someone to overextend. Protect the Draven. W. Q'd him. Q'd him. QE. QE. And I think it's over. Yep. Now that game was pretty close. So now we're 1 1. We're going to go electrocute this game. They already locked in three squishies. So, basic page. We're against Ari, I think. And what are we going to do? We're going to sit here. We're going to farm. And try to not take too much poke. She gets a good trade on me there. Whoops. That's fine. We'll just farm this. She's doing her best to zone me still. What are we going to do? We're going to sit here. We're going to farm. And try to take as little poke as we can. Now she is managing the wave pretty well actually. She's like letting the wave slow push into her, which is not what I want. But if I can crash the wave, then great. Where she starts pushing, great. I get a good trade here. Jungle fights in the river. I come. Not going to use my flash aggressively. She walks too close and she dies. Oh, she almost dies. My Camille starts Mia pinging. I really don't want to use my flash aggressively, but I did hear just like, I just, I just couldn't, I just had to, I just had to. And then we trade and it's not even really worth it. I could have just pushed the wave and recalled and had Pryo. So very sad. Um, I don't know where Ari goes, but we have Seal one tome, so we just one shot the wave and back off, but we're not gonna roam anywhere. So what do we do? We're just farming. <laughs> and how amazing, interesting is this gameplay? Can you do this? Can you sit here and farm? And not roam and try to see us moderately decently? I walked down a little bit, but I don't know why. 
We, we ain't roaming in here. No roaming boys. Farm well. Don't die. That's it. The charm barely hits me, but she has nothing now. So I'm just going to one-shot the wave and recall. Come back. I already reset. I'm going to one-shot this wave. It doesn't crash. So now we got to push the next wave in. See if I bot and actually roam for like the first time. Rengar ults. I just need to run away to my team. Not going to flash aggressively. We're waiting for the free kills. Are we? She loses her mind. Wastes her flash. We're not going to flash aggressively here. So we got the Ari. Uh, we're just messing with the Vyra a little bit, but I should really just reset. We get this wave. Ari roams. We clear this wave. Get a plate. Because I really don't want to roam. Just trying to keep it real simple. Ari pushes the wave. Top roamed, but no kill. And I probably should shove the wave and reset for our Nasher Tooth. If we can farm decently. We got the tooth. Are we roaming? We're gonna sit here. Clear wave. Now, I was thinking about roaming down there, but I really want to minimize the roaming. We're just going to sit here and clear waves. And how do I kill her here? She walks over the dagger. I press R, Q. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I farm pretty good. I have the tooth. I got sorks. And we just, we just kill her there. I push. Wangar comes. Eh, tried my best. Oh well. I should have just flashed. Wait, I have flash there. I should have just flashed away. Yeah, I'm trolling. We come back. What do we do? We clear the wave. Whoa. This was a weird fight. Tristan is mid. What are we going to do? We're going to ARAM. Everybody's here. Dragon's up. Probably going to fight on the dragon. Nope. We just run bot. Rangar ults. He gets me as well. Unfortunate. Oh well. We're ARAMing mid with our bot lane. Already bot. So I go pick up a wave bot. Then I just run back mid. Nope. I... Greed for the tower for some reason. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's much happening here, but we're here for the free kills. Free kill, cool. Misfortune flash. Any other free kills here? I think Rise kills me. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. We're coming back. Enemy team though, dying. Rengar jumps in. Free assist. Clear the wave. We're all running to Baron. I'm just grouping with my team. Looking for some free kills. Rengar decides. Oh, Tristana decides she wants to die. What? <laughs> what is this Rise doing? Like, I know I'm just waiting for free kills, but. Like, what is that? Whoa, mechanically intensive escape. That's not allowed, Kocha. Why am I doing that? Thanks, Rice. What is that? Is that a free 
kill. Oh no. Damn. This Camille is strong. Go back mid, clear the wave. Aram, Aram, Aram. Uh, looks like they're fighting bot, so I went bot. To clear the wave. I'm with my Tristana bot. His fortune ults the wave. We're backing off. We're just here with our bot lane. Just following wherever the majority of my team goes. Just trying not to die. And following my bot lane. They engage on the Lux, the weakest member. And we pick up two kills. What's that combo? I use rocket belt there. Wow. What I do? Just Q E W. We respawn. We run back straight into the jungle. We're following our Camille and our Lux. Camille going off. Nice. We press E there. And this game's over. 10 5. Now we're 2 1 in our promos. We just take a basic electrocute room page, even though we're against Cassidy. So, a lot of people think you have to go AD against Cassidy, and I do think AD is better, but I wanted to keep it very simple for this video, so we just went to AP. And we're going to electrocute because look at the rest of their team. They have Jin, Morgana, Elise, Kale. Everyone's squishy, so we want burst. I start seal and refillable. Just let the wave come into me. Farm it up. It's fine. Kindred's looking to gank. And it's much easier to gank when we just let the wave come into us and push. When they push, <laughs> they just push and then they get ganked. Cassidy and TP is back. I'm recalling right here in front of his face. He cancels it. And he takes a lot of damage. Like, look at his minion damage he's taking. He autos me again. I do a quick little trade. And this guy is almost half health. The wave is coming into me. Now, this was kind of minion management, but he has more minions. So the wave is going to push into me. He walks up. And I just kill him. Not going to flash aggressively. We're gonna wait for <laughs> we're gonna wait for the free kill. And free kill was that ever. Like literally. He could just walk into our jungle. I'm waiting for the free kill. He gives it to me. Elise comes. Hey, since we didn't flash on the Cassidy, we can flash here. Oh, we didn't even flash there. Wow. I'm not going to flash aggressively. I could have taken it, but we're not going to flash aggressively. We get to shove the wave and then now we recall. We're level 6 to his level 5. How can Cassidy stop our Q? With his Q. So, I'm not going to R until he uses Q. And he just uses Q there, but it's not a good spot. I'm just last hitting, slow pushing the wave into him. I guess that's cheating using minion management. She comes on a stacked wave. Do I just walk away? I have flash here. All right, I just walked away. I'm waiting for Cassidy to push. I'm waiting for Cassidy to press Q on my minions. That way I can ult him. Eh. Kind of minor trade. But let's just shove in recall. Alright, Cassidy's gone. We shove the wave into him. Get a plate. Nice. Nope, yep, still the same thing. I want Cassidy to push. And I want him to press Q on me or my minion. So I thought he was going to press Q there. But he pressed W. But he didn't cancel my R anyways. It's fine. Now we're just pushing the wave into him slowly. We're just last hitting. Elise comes again. Hey, we have flash still. 
cast it in youth flash nice kale's here for some reason all right we're just clearing the wave sitting mid we're not gonna roam because i just don't want to roam i'm gonna keep it super simple just farm well don't die and we are farming very well this game that's like what nine cs a minute maybe like 8.7 somewhere around there So we shove the wave in and we get chunked, but he doesn't have flash. So we're fine. Kendra's on dragon, running back over there, but too late. We go back mid, trying to farm our best. Did he use Q this time? Cassidy uses Q right here. Okay, now I can ult him. I just need him to walk up. He actually walks into E range and I just jump on him. At least it's here, but I shove in the wave. Going to recall, but decide I want to shove in one more wave. All right, now I recall. We run back. Guess what we do? We just see yes. We don't die. Kindred's fighting over here. Catherine is below us, right? Likely in that bush. Oh, nope. We're not gonna flash aggressively. We're waiting for the free kills. Fane gets picked off, almost. Looking for some free kills. Oh, we ran bot. We could have ran mid. Catherine's here though. I think I played this fight pretty well. Even they're trying to keep it basic. Is auto hum, auto E auto W. E Q R. I think we die here. Yeah, I guess not. We're picking up a wave top. Not sure why I'm not just a ramming mid. Uh, we we picked up a wave top for the item. Now we got rocket belt. Now we're going mid. Alright, not going to flash aggressively. I probably could have ignited though. A ram mid. Our team's all in the jungle, so we go over there. Nothing happens. We clear mid. Vayne wants to do the Baron, so we're gonna do the Baron. We get Baron. Everyone's down here kind of awkwardly. I'm kind of low. I should recall. Weird dance going on. It's now check out this insane combo. Q. E. R. Wow. What a insane combo. Q, E, R. Q, E, R. And we farmed well and we got in some free kills. So we're super strong. Not quite the end of the game yet. Garen's fighting the Morgana. Our team's not here yet. Vayne's not here. But we're diving. Kinda awk. Everyone's here. Um, we go top instead. I'm just standing here, waiting for free kills. Not gonna use my flash aggressively. They're just gonna let us take their entire base. Like, literally, we just take the entire base in front of their face. Waiting for my free kills.
and nice. Promoted to gold four. 809, what do we do? The bare minimum. <laughs> we lost one game, but other than that, it went pretty well. And even in the game we lost, we were strong and we were still a big threat for the enemy team. We were making it easier for our team to win. Now, I just want to revisit the Reddit post and we're going to read it again, knowing what we just covered. The skill gap is narrower or at least more narrow than before. That was gold four we played in, like silver one, gold four. Imagine if we played in bronze. It is no way it is more narrow. When season seven, when I got diamond, I didn't know shit about minion wave management and people are getting better over time. But low elo is still the same. Like a challenger player now is way better than a challenger player before. I disagree with this post entirely, but like a bronze player now compared to a bronze player five years ago, still roughly similar. Concepts that are high elo are not, well, I mean, I really didn't apply anything in those games besides some basic wave management and maybe trying to identify what I need to do in fights. But I pretty much just waited for a free kill to happen. <laughs> in a lot of videos, he has a hard time playing against low elo opponents, even in lane, when you supposedly have the most agency in the game. Well, in those games we played, I died several times in lane. I'll die to low elo lanes. I'll still farm well. I'll be impactful. And there's a lot of other things that can help me get into a game. Sometimes you just die in lane because some random shit happens. And that's fine. But if I was trying my hardest, I would definitely struggle less in lane than I did in what we just watched. Build macro and other concepts aren't as important until diamond. Well, we literally did the most basic Katarina builds. We did electrocute with Nash into rocket belt into either Zonia's Rabadon's voice staff or shadow flame. And then we did the same for the Riftmaker build. We just went Conqueror with Riftmaker, Nasher, Riftmaker. Then you can go Zonia's Void or Rabadon's really basic build. Not a lot of nuance to it. So using Flash aggressively, as you can see, I really tried my best to not use Flash aggressively. And a lot of times it paid off. Putting Harass above CSing, well, as Katarina, you can, <laughs> it's kind of hard to harass. You definitely can, but I... I put CS above Harass for sure in those games. Flashy plays, we did basically no flashy plays. Like the most flashy play was we queued and the dagger flew over the wall. We pressed R and we didn't move and it killed like two, three people. Though the players aren't making these huge exploitable mistakes. Well, they definitely walked in and gave me free kills plenty of times. So they, yeah, they are. Him directing his team to make the correct decision and occasional flashy play. Now, I didn't do any of this. I just gripped with my team. I air on mid a lot of the time. I played very basically on Katarina, a mechanical champion. It wasn't a free game, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's just like not every game free. I expected the bronze to challenger skill gap to be more similar to chess, but maybe I'm living in a fantasy world. The skill gap is definitely pretty big. I mean, like I literally, <laughs> I, I really didn't do much in those games, man. And I won almost every single one. Low elo players just better used to be. I mean, that's what we we already talked about that. Low elo equals clueless is over. I think people have like just random buckets of knowledge, but the fundamentals are really important. We saw the Ari have pretty good wave management into me. She pushed the wave and then let it slow push into her. And that's kind of advanced, I guess, but it didn't really help because she stood over a dagger and just died. And just let me farm well. I'm beginning to believe a lot of people are trying to claim are actually following the fundamental advice to the neglect of the esoteric and it's causing them to stagnate in low elo. That's 100% delusional. CS better don't die, lazy outdated advice. Well, that's literally what I just did and it was really good. It's harder to do and it might seem, I mean, it is a game and like you have just dopamine firing and you want to go for flash it plays and it's hard to have like self-control to not do that. To see a thing better is something that's hard and you'll improve with over time. TLDR, fundamentals are not a secret. Learning materials that are recommended, ignoring high level concepts are keeping people from climbing into the bracket, which the high level concepts supposedly become relevant. I did not need very many high level concepts to get gold. I can only imagine what playing on a bronze or lower silver account would be like. 
it would be the same thing, but even easier. Now, if you want to watch me play in a lower rank and give it my best shot, click the video on your screen. Thanks for watching and special thanks to the server boosters or anyone who's gotten coaching from me. Thanks for watching.